Guys, what's up? This is Michael from Vibo, and I want to talk to you today about using the scanner. Um, so thank you, Randy, for asking. This gives me the opportunity to um, show everybody. So let's go through the scanner. The first thing we'll need to do, obviously, is get a, an event that we uh, want to scan. So um, <clears throat> obviously, you don't need to use the scanner. It's not the first thing I would worry about if you're a new Vibo user. First, I would kind of like get it out to the clients and get them happy and make sure that you have that nailed down. Because if you don't have any songs in there, then there's nothing, there's going to be nothing to scan. So once you have an event that already has some songs, that's when I start uh, learning about the scanner. And it's not so complicated. So let's create a new event just so we have a nice clean event to deal with. And I'll try and keep this video as short as I can. Let's do a wedding. We'll select um, one of the Vibo templates. We'll call it scanner video wedding video wed. We'll do it right here in New York. Okay. Date will be end of the month, six o'clock. And let's start. Okay, so let's be, let's make believe that the client has added some songs here. Oh, let me turn my phone off. Um, so we're going to add it actually from the web instead of from the app. So let's add a wedding uh, march song. I'm just adding random songs. So I'm going to add, um, you know what? No, sorry. I'm going to add something that I'm going to scan. So I'm preparing this scan with songs I know that I'm going to scan in a small folder just for testing purposes. So I'm going to add 24K Magic. And I'm going to add a song to the Wedding March. Let me add, um, I know that I have Tiptoe, Jason Derulo in the folder that I'm going to scan with you. And let's also do a few songs in the prelude. Let's see what I'm going to scan. Let me show you in my music. I'm going to scan only this folder for testing purposes. So I'm, I'm going to select songs from the client as if um, knowing already what I'm going to scan. So I'm going to, I see that I have uh, mirrors in here. Let me add that into the playlist. Mirrors. I'm going to add in my feelings. In my feelings. And one last song that I know that I don't have. So I'm going to add I always use the Beatles as uh, an example. I don't know why that comes up. Let it be. And we're ready for the for the scan. Okay, so this is an easy event. We only have three songs for the prelude and two special songs that we might want to select together. Now is the time to go and download a scanner if you don't have it. Either download for Mac or for Windows. After it's scanned and it's launched, you go over here, either here or find it in your uh, launch pad or if it's a PC, you'll, you'll find it and then open it. And I'm going to add my email, my password. And then you see here I selected that same folder which I showed you over here just for testing purposes. But when you do it, you can actually add any folder you can go and add um, a hard drive and then add another all your music drive in one shot like this but I'm not gonna do that because it's gonna take a long time not a long time but longer than I want this video to be now that I've done that I'm gonna hit scan it's gonna it's gonna make a map of your folders and your music files and also video files so it's running and it's done. Now I can close this. I refresh the web page and it's going to say that the last scan was right now 9.15 p.m. which is the time right here in New York. Now I'm going to go and find that scanner scanner event and 
now is the time to run the scan so I'm gonna click locate and I'm gonna do all the single songs together this time and click on locate I click on mark top matches it'll show me all the edits that I have automatically but I can also add different songs in this case because they're single songs and that was a specific song I'm just gonna take the original version and I'm not gonna go fancy with any uh, remixes because it's not what the client needs generate the playlist I'm gonna call this um, formalities and download the next thing I'm gonna do is locate all the prelude songs which might be a longer list so I'm gonna do that separately and then I click on locate I click on mark top matches it's giving me um, this time I wanna have the remix so I'm gonna use this remix and decide at the party if I wanna play it um, here it didn't find the Beatles I'm gonna have to flag it and in my feelings it gave me different choices in this case I like the gorilla culture mix and I'm gonna add that as well and I'll decide at the party what I wanna play then I download and I'm going to flag this it asked me to flag it and I always love to do that because that's gonna remind me what songs weren't added to my DJ software and you see there's a little flag over here and I can always unflag it but why is this cool is because it reminds me and I can also click here copy it and paste with command V I do have to clean it up a little bit but that'll be faster than typing in anywhere I want to download in my music pool etc after I've downloaded it, I can add it manually to any one of my DJ software and unflag so now let's see how we add it to different um, different DJ softwares I'm gonna show it first of all in Serato Serato is going to be just drag and drop so let's take a look so I'm gonna unexpand this a little bit go to my finder go to downloads these are the three M3U folders that I got from Vibo I'm gonna let this load and then I'm going to drag it into the black space over here and hopefully my computer with the recording is going to do well yep it did well so I have um, I don't know why it wrote maybe it, wait a minute let's do it one by one I have the formalities over here hello yeah there we go so the formalities these two songs and I'll probably use my PDF to know which ones which or I can move things around uh, to match the order of the of the event and then I'm gonna have the prelude which is this one and it has all the remixes uh, we have Justin here and in my feelings let's put them together and I'm all ready for my event gotta let this play a little bit alright enough everyone knows that song now let's take a look at virtual DJ we'll do this really quick in virtual DJ it's gonna pop up automatically in your downloads folder so it's in users um, downloads and I'm gonna have to find it under um, F will be the formalities so and then after that whoever's a um, virtual DJ user should probably know better than me I'm personally a, a tractor user but it should be here in the F uh, let's see where's F A B C D E F G H I J K it should be after the numbers so yep there you go from what formalities okay so that's how we do it with virtual DJ and the date of it was 31 January 2019 prelude so we have 31 of 
gen prelude so that's going to be the second one and then whoever's a virtual dj user will probably know how to move these around and i don't know copy drag i'm not a specialist for that um now let's take a look at tractor you know what itunes so itunes is really easy all you have to do is double click whoever's using dj pro will just double click on that and it'll open itunes and then you'll have it in dj pro um record box i have to show you and tractor so that was um that was the double click for itunes and let's do a uh, tractor tractor is also going to be just dragging and dropping and record box you're going to do import playlist and find the playlist and import it I'm going to go ahead and wait for this to load and show you everything just so we have everything in this one video for all the different uh, DJ software users. I'm hoping that I'm not discriminating anybody, um, but these are the main ones. I know that it would work also on uh, DJuiced, but I don't remember and I'm not sure I have it. And also on Engine, I'm almost sure that it works. Any kind of software that uses an M3U file will be able to uh, import it. So let's let it load. Let's see if I have record box meanwhile. Not a good idea to load all these together, but we want to save some time. And if you have any questions, um, either post them below. This this will give, this is going to be a YouTube video, um, or feel free to contact us directly through our Facebook page or um, email me e emailing us at info at vibo .io. Okay, what's this? I haven't opened uh, Record Box for a while, although I know it's a great software. So. Record box went up faster than tractor, so let's use this one. Um, playlists, let's see, file, import, playlists. And then it's going to let me import. I'm going to tell it to import from my downloads. I'm going to select this and open. And there you go, formalities. You get the drift. Oops. Okay, and tractor, our last one. So here, let's hope. I have kind of an old tractor, so the new ones is easier. It's gonna, huh. <laughs> What's it doing? <laughs> All right, whoop. So I'm going to go to playlists. Let's see what happens here. Come on. More like this. Okay, here, this is a prelude. There you go. All right. So I was just making a fuss, but it worked twice. And I think, I think we're good. Um, so yeah, thank you for listening. I hope this was really short and see you in the next video.